Joshua 24, 15 says, Now, if you are unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served in the region beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua's last recorded speech to the Hebrews contains one of the most quoted verses in the Old Testament. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua, as the patriarchal head of the household, is binding them to the worship of Yahweh. We too can take the spiritual direction for our families. While the individualistic view of Christianity dominates our culture, the model of household worship and salvation is seen in both the Old and New Testaments. Cornelius calls together his relatives to hear Peter, and his household was filled with the Holy Spirit. Paul tells the Philippian jailer, you and your household will be saved, Acts 16.31. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, children, we can all intercede as spiritual leaders for our families on behalf of those we love. Matthew 18.20 says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am among them. God loves and honors the family. He is able and willing to hear our prayers for our families. I have a friend who was an alcoholic and who has wandered away from God. Only through the intercessory prayer of his mother, his words, not mine, did he find his way out of alcohol addiction and is now a pastor leading a weekly 12-step group for those struggling with substance use addictions. He has told me that my first reaction whenever a family issue arises should be to pray whether it is an unsafe family member or other familiar conflict, just pray. But it should not be just God who hears our prayers, but our family members should see the love behind our prayers. We need to be the hands and feet of Jesus to our families and model the love we hope they will receive. James 2 ends with the passage that concludes, faith without works is dead. Our prayers have to be active. Our families need to see the fruit of the Spirit in our lives and want to bear similar fruit. Jesus is our model for intercessory prayer. He prayed for the sick and the possessed. He paid, prayed for his disciples. He even prayed for you and me. But as the, just as the high priest of the Old Testament interceded for the people, Jesus, the perfect high priest, interceded for his spiritual family. 1 Peter 2.9 calls us a royal priesthood. As such, it is our privilege and duty to approach God on behalf of others, especially our families, and intercede to Him on their behalf. Joshua had modeled faithfulness to the Lord throughout his 100 years, and the Lord honored that through blessing his family. Live your prayer so that both God and your family will know the desires of your heart for them, to know Him, and that you want the best for them.